And so they're pointing us to discover a spiritual truth about ourselves. And the way the story goes, this parable from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, it says a landowner was needing to leave, and while he was going away, he entrusted three of his stewards with some resources. He gave one of them five talents, one of them two, and one of them one, for which they were to be responsible and take care of them while he left. And as the parable goes, he goes away, and when he comes back, he goes to the, to the first one to whom he gave five, and he says, what did you do with the five? And the person said, I invested it. I put it to use. Look, I have even more. And he said, well done. And to the one that had been given two, he said, well, what did you do with your two? He said, I put it to use. I invested it. I got a return on my investment. He said, good, good for you. And to the one who had been given one, he said, what did you do with your one? And he said, let me go find it. Here, I buried it over here. Here it is. Let me brush it off. I saved it for you. And the, and the point of the story is I didn't give it to you to save because you really lost it. If you're not putting it to use, you're putting it to loss. That it's, if you can understand it at a level of that, the scripture that is um, highly misunderstood, you begin to understand it in, in a spiritual, a mystical type of way. The scripture that says, for whoever has will be given more. They will have an abundance, but whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. Because if we're not recognizing what we have, it's as if we don't even have it. If we're not putting out and cultivating our gifts, our talent, if we're not putting it to use, putting it into circulation, then we are putting it to waste. It's a simple line.